Hi, we're starting in the bedrooms because I want to start here and then go around to the house. Okay, so this wall, so we have a 20 by 40 house here. And so this wall, because we have lots of kids right now, there's double bunks, like there's bunk beds. So there's bunk bed, bunk bed, bunk bed, bunk bed. So eight beds right there. And then on this side of the bunk bed, like these parts right here are shelf but the kids can get to it from the bed instead of from the outside so that they can have like their own private stuff like they keep it in their bunk space but then the end of the bed and this side are open so that they can get in except there'd probably be a ladder so that they could climb up on it and there'd be a door here just this is like a secondary door to get out of the house and then there'd be a window here and a desk between the shelf units. So like these would kind of be like walls and then a desk area for like an older person who wants to study. This wouldn't be for like the little kids to sit down and write their ABCs. It would be for like a Virginia or Naomi age who needs to do some work on the laptop or, you know, a quiet study spot, I just do whatever. That bit. Then, so going up, there would be a window here, a window here, and this would be a window. So this part of the house is kind of dark, but that's okay. And then this is the bedroom. So this would be the bed. I messed up here. So this would be the bed and there's two feet of walking room around the bed, but that's like a king size bed with two feet of walking room, but you don't really need much in the bedroom. So anyway, so then here's the hallway and going down the hallway, this goes into the bathroom, but the bathroom would have a door on the toilet so that someone could be like brushing their teeth and stuff while somebody else is using the toilet. The toilet doesn't have a door. Just to be clear. <laughs> the toilet itself does not have a door. Okay. I'm running you with your toilet door. Wait a second, what? So there's a door so that somebody could be using the toilet? Like a toilet stall in a public bathroom. Well, okay. Can close the door. Okay. Got it. Right. Go so, so, then, so then there's the bathtub. And then there's a double vanity, so you can have, like, more than one person brushing their teeth or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then this would be the washer-dryer, like a stackable washer-dryer. Mm -hmm. And then on this side, so, like, that line's not supposed to be there. Um, and on this side, this would be, like, open, but it would have shelving on these sides. Mm -hmm. um, so you could store all the clothes you're washing here in here and then everyone would get dressed in here so you don't need space in each of the bedrooms for people to keep their clothes because you would have one place where everyone would go to get dressed so there's so a everyone goes and gets dressed in this one bathroom brush your teeth yes. take a foot behind the door and um get wash dressed. the laundry and then get dressed yes i actually could probably put a wall with a door there so mm -hmm. you could like actually go into this area and get dressed and someone could still be brushing their mm -hmm. teeth and all of that stuff. So anyway, so then you go down this hallway. So this whole part of the house yep. is for the family. And then this part's all for entertaining. But then you can have this behind closed doors. Will there so be a you, circus? Yes, circus. Okay, so, but this all behind closed doors so that you can just close it off and you don't have people like wandering into your bedrooms and stuff then like that. And you only have the heat like that section of the house. Exactly. I did think about night. that. For, for you have two spaces to heat because during the day, if you're not in your bedrooms, you don't have to heat this side of the house. And at night, if you're not in this part, you only get to have to heat that side of the house. I had actually thought about that, but you brought it up. So anyway, then on this side of the wall would be a bookshelf um, just because I need a bookshelf in my house because I like books. And then over here is the kitchen. So you have the stove and a big countertop and a big sink because I'd like one of those like... Um, like the farmhouse sinks that are like mm. cast iron with the really nice sides, like the one we had in Key West. I really yes. like that one. So, oh yeah, Uncle Seth, I want a, I want a farmhouse kitchen, okay? Like a cast iron stove. I mean, cast iron sink. <laughs> we'll, end, we'll have one on the bus by the end of the week. We'll a cast iron sink? Huh? Oh, Seth's going to put, I thought you meant like we'd have a sink in the bus to like use. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out how that was That's an work. idea. Then we could call it a motorhome. <laughs> okay, so have a sink. And another little counter space and then a fridge. So then over here, this would be a wall, kind of. This would be like a sliding barn door type thing. So like on the outside. And when you go in, there'd be shelves on this side and then a freezer in there. But then you could close that off. So you just wouldn't have all the canned goods showing all the time. And then this would be a big table, but it would have benches to go underneath so that you could use it as kitchen prep area, but then sit there for dinner.
also. And I put the fridge so that someone on this end could get things out of the fridge that you forgot, like the milk or something like that. And then I put um, the big counter space on this side so that, like, if, you know, mom's sitting on this side, she can put the food dishes up here and get more for people. So you just got to think of these things because when you got to keep, when you got to keep filling people's plates, that's what you got to do. You got to know. (laughs) Whoever is sitting here or here (laughs) could be one of the older girls. Okay. So then going over here, it would be a window seat with storage underneath, but we'd have a big window here to let light in. There would also be windows here. I just didn't mark them, but windows there and windows here. And of course some windows over there. But, um, then over here would be a bathroom, a small bathroom for your guests to use so you don't have to make sure that this one's clean all the time i mean not that it's not going to be filthy so your kids are still going to like have good hygiene and all of that stuff but this way four sets of bunk beds and a parents room on this end yeah and one bathroom you might have to use that one more than guests well no you might need to but what i was saying to the girls earlier when we were talking about designing houses is the main front door would come in right next to this bathroom so like if you're outside working in the garden and all you have to do is go in and pee you can go in here and you don't have to make a mess through the entire house to get there to go to the bathroom doesn't that make sense or if you need to come in and wash your hands because you've been doing something gross and you need to come in and wash your hands all you gotta do is go right in there because our friend rachel's house she has a bathroom right inside the door and i think it's like one of the greatest features in the house so that's it i didn't Great have job, furniture rachel. in my living room but i left a nice open floor plan so in case we were hosting guests or like a church service and things you could put like a lot of folding chairs in here or people sitting on the floor because sitting on the floor is actually really good for your body and people in other countries sit on the floor to do church so we could do that too i know we think we have to sit on hard wooden pews but you don't have to you can sit right on the floor then you can enjoy your kids and snuggle with them while you're doing that so that's my house plan 